We're live tonight in Olmito along one of the Rosacas. This one drying up, not necessarily because of the severe drought. A lot of other factors come into play in this particular room. But you drive around this part of the valley and you see some empty Rosacas and you see some full Rosacas. One thing we do know is we got a lot of rain. If we get this drought over with, most of the Rosacas will fill back up. But again, uh, the severe drought continues. Take a look at the map that shows Southern Cameron County. Basically everything from uh, Bayview back through Los Fresnos and then uh, to the river and southward where we are standing here as well. We're about where that uh, I-69E symbol is under severe drought. Now again, that's uh, phase three, if you will, out of a one through five system. Uh, and here's one of the reasons why. Just since April 1st at the airport in Brownsville where official records are kept, only two thirds of an inch of rain and that's about two and a third inches or so below normal for the last uh, seven, eight weeks, something like that. So the lack of rainfall certainly not helping the situation at all. Each week when this drought monitor comes out, uh, the situation gets just a little bit uh, more dire, if you will, across the valley. And that's the case again this week. Let's look at temperatures today. And it's been a warm one once again across the region. All of your readings uh, touched the 90s briefly, and it's still in the 90s in the far western part of the valley, 80s in the east, 85 in Brownsville, 86 in Harlingen. Port Isabel shakes in right now at 83 degrees. And dew points, now they're up, certainly in the humid category. Most of the dew points in the 70s right now. 77 is a dew point in Port Isabel, 76 in Harlingen. You move westward, everybody's at least 72. So now we're looking at summertime humidity outside, summertime humidity levels with the average dew point of 75. That's up in the very humid range and pretty much on the top of the chart. Dew points generally don't get much above the upper 70s. You might touch 80 every once in a while, but that pretty rare. So certainly about as humid as it gets in the valley today. As we look ahead the next few days, high temperatures are going to be above average still. The norm for the end of May is about 90, and we're going to be running 95, 95, and 93. Records are well above that. They shouldn't be threatened, but certainly uh, closer to the records than the normal over the area. Now, future track shows what's going to be going on, and, and we're increasing our rain chances as we head into the weekend, but not until we get into the weekend. You watch tomorrow, and it's a mainly dry day across the region. A lot of clouds, especially in the morning. And boy, I tell you what, you wake up early and look outside and it's dark. You know, it looks like it ought to rain, but it doesn't. They're just low clouds that are thick. They burn off by afternoon. We get a little bit of sunshine back. But even now, it's still mostly overcast out here. Tomorrow, kind of a similar day, windy and humid again. Saturday, pretty much the same story. We're throwing a slight chance of a shower or two in there on Saturday. Uh, we'll look at maybe 10%, something like that. You see some green kind of started to dot the map, but most of it outside the valley. And I think that'll be the case. Most of it will be away from the valley. By Sunday, our chance of rain goes up a little bit. You start to see some green show up on the map by early Sunday morning. And as the day goes on, scattered showers and thunderstorms north of us. And there's a chance that some of those showers and thunder showers could work their way into the valley. Still, the best chance of rain will be north of the valley, but we do have a shot here over the next few days as well. What are the rain chances? Well, let's take a look. You notice we start with a mainly dry day tomorrow, but then we go up to 10% on Saturday and about 40% on Sunday. Monday, even higher than that, uh, as we see the best chance of rain probably coming on Monday of next week. Here's what's going on at the coast. You can see that the temperatures in the morning are going to start in the 70s, but warm quickly to the 80s. And again, a strong southerly wind. The UV is extreme. Rip current risk is moderate. 82 is the surf temperature. As we go through the daytime, temperatures stay in the 80s. Southeasterly winds about 20 miles an hour. Uh, you can see the UV is extreme. Uh, here are the tides. There are two. Uh, 250 rather, and 11:36. Seas five to seven feet. Bay waters are choppy. Small craft advisories affect at least through tomorrow morning. So for tonight across the valley, skies are mostly cloudy. It's humid and it's still windy. You can hear the wind blowing through the palm trees out here. 80, yes, 80 for the low temperature. And then tomorrow we're back in the 90s. That's a mostly cloudy start with some afternoon sunshine. Uh, breezy again, southeast winds 15 to 25 with highs back in the mid 90s. Seven day forecast shows that chance for rain gradually increasing, peaking on Monday, but not going away after that. Notice we still have a chance in there on Tuesday, even on Wednesday. And Wednesday now looks a little cooler with a slightly better chance for some rain. And then by Thursday, we become mainly dry once again. No matter what the cause for this Rosaka being dry, I can tell you one thing, it doesn't smell very good. An awful lot of dead fish down there and a little bit of rain could go a long way. That's the latest live from Middle Mito. Tim Smith, Channel 5 News at 6.